Hi everyone, this is Travis Quadlander here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt. And today we are looking at a beautiful white 2024 Peterbilt 389 with 78 inch platinum sleeper. This truck is on the ground, ready to roll, and it's available. And in fact, I've got some great news. We have multiple of this exact same unit and multiple colors available. That's right, this is a great opportunity to get a true owner operator spec 2024 Peterbilt 389, the last year of production and the last quarter that they're building the trucks. And we've got multiple units available. Um, of course, we've got this white color available. We've also got Viper Red. We also have Diamond Red. We have Prowler Purple, Monster Energy Green, and Tantalizing Turquoise. And if you move very quickly, we've got a couple that are coming in that we still have about a week to paint whatever color that you like. And uh, these are a really nice spec. It's a great opportunity to get literally the last production run of the uh, Peterbilt 389 before they stop producing them uh, this December and move to the uh, 589 in January. So let's go ahead, jump right into the uh, specs. Uh, we'll go around on a detailed walk around, but go over the major specs before we do the full walk around on the truck. This is powered by a Cummins X15 Performance Series engine, 565 horsepower, 1850 pound-feet of torque. It is not powered by the 2050 pound-feet of torque, um, but in many, many, many cases, that 1850 is gonna be sufficient. Um, it is paired to an Eaton Fuller 18-speed manual transmission. This is a 78-inch platinum sleeper. It's a single bunk sleeper with the additional storage cabinets. It's sitting on uh, low pro 24.5s all the way around. We haven't been able to get 24.5s from the factory for quite some time. We did some really hard work and we're able to get an exception made. So we've got Continentals up front and Goodyear Endurance LHDs in the rear. Again, these are 24.5s with the uh, Peterbilt ovals. You'll see that we added the uh, Stemco hub odometer to that. If you do want that removed, no problem. We can have that removed very easily for you. This truck is on a 280 inch wheelbase. We've got 325 gear ratio on the truck, tape relief front suspension, and a low air leaf rear suspension. Uh, so those are the major specs. We'll get more into the uh, details of the truck as we walk around it. Um, up front, we can see that we've got seven inch true dual exhaust. You can see your Y pipe uh, right there. Oops, zoom down a little bit so you can see that. There's your Y pipe. We've got the chrome finish over the elbows, the stainless steel fairing with the grab handle, and we've got the 60 inch height tip. So that's the seven inch uh, tip with the uh, curved tip. Truck came from the factory with uh, five marker lights, no horns on the roof. We added two and swapped those all out to clear watermelon lenses. So we've got seven clear watermelon lenses on the roof. We've got a painted 14 inch uh, drop visor with matching cab window and sleeper window chops. You've heard me say before, I love when we do the drop visor and it's got that match matching line right there. We've got the uh, traditional stainless steel mirrors with the uh, spot mirrors below that. Those are heated and the top mirror is motorized. You notice we went with the old school look with a uh, spotlight right here on the driver's side. Let's see if we can get you a better look at that. So your spotlight, which comes in handy when you need it. And then we also did the CB and the radio antennas on the uh, side mirrors. So CB antennas on both mirrors, the radio antennas on the uh, driver's side mirror. Went with the uh, 15 inch premium stainless steel breathers. Next year for the 589, these breathers aren't gonna have the uh, kind of stamped oval look. It's gonna be a uh, rectangular stamp. Along with the uh, premium stainless steel breathers. We have a painted 
light panel right here. It looks like just like a blank panel. So in the daytime, when it's not lit up, it's just gonna be nice clean look that is the uh, same color as the body. But as you can see in there, it's got a rear backlit light, which is a pretty cool trick piece of ingenuity. I really like that. I've normally only done those on the back of the breathers, but we've got them on the front here. We did leave the back blank. So if you did want to uh, add some type of rear breather light, we'd be able to do that as well. We do have the uh, painted lights panel. That's the cab, cab leg, all is one piece. And the uh, sleeper with the long sleeper extender, again, all is one piece. It's not a two piece system, so it's a nice clean look. Hard to tell since we're in the direct sunlight, but we'll take a look on the other side. Um, we do have the uh, downward facing underglow lights. Stainless steel uh, def tank cover. Should have uh, 110 and 150 gallons of fuel. Additional toolboxes on both sides. We've got the Hodge built tube mounted 27 inch stainless steel fenders. Um, when you're not doing like a true show truck, I really actually like these 27 inch ones. They're a bit easier to, uh, I guess, service and maintain. Um, the mountings are really easy to, uh, to get to. Um, it's not the uh, mirror finish, so you don't have to worry about really keeping up that high polish, just work them, wash them, go back to work, you know. Um, if you really wanted to uh, take the time to get a high polish on there, you could, uh, but these are a little bit more, uh, we'll call them utilitarian, but still give you that really cool stainless steel look that uh, Hodge Belt is known for. With the uh, sleeper extenders, you do see we've got uh, five total grab handles on the back of the sleeper. We've got your uh, glad, hand, glad hand and a seven way plug mount right there on the back of the sleeper. Um, we did not do the three in one. The three in one looks clean. I really like doing that, um, especially in a type of show truck. But if you ever need to replace one of the hoses, you have to completely unwind everything. Um, this makes it uh, a little bit easier to replace individual hoses. May not be as clean as a look, but um, still very clean. You got the uh, springs to mount them to the uh, back of the sleeper and your uh, chrome pogo stick. Of course, you got your uh, factory deck plate on there. Got the uh, Jost fifth wheel with air slide. As I said, you've got a uh, low air leaf rear suspension. Got the uh, Peterbilt premium stainless steel mud flap hangers. So those are spring loaded. You don't have to worry about damage them. Um, we did do the uh, oval backup and tail lights mounted inside the frame. Nice clean look. Again, additional toolboxes on both sides. Plenty of room to add an APU or a blower or wet kit on either side. There's your 150 gallon passenger side fuel tank. You do have the uh, underglow lights. Hopefully that's showing up here on the uh, non-sunny side of the truck. Get two lights on that cab leg right there. And then there's a look at the uh, front breather light with the uh, rear backlit. Up front, we have the 18-inch uh, Texas-style bumper, bumper with the uh, toe pins from the factory. Taking a look inside the truck. Before we do that, um, these are uh, specced with the uh, California Clean Idle sticker. Um, I don't think people realize how uh, much of a big deal it is gonna to be to get that California Clean Idle, uh, certified Clean Idle sticker next year. Uh, even if you don't register in California, but you operate at all in California or you have over a certain number of trucks, uh, it's almost a requirement to get that sticker. In fact, in some cases it is a requirement. Uh, so having these 
on here. This means that you're going to be able to uh, operate these trucks for uh, quite some time in uh, California. I forget the year. I think it's an additional 13 years. So what is that going to be? Uh, 2036 that you'll be able to operate these trucks in California. I'll uh, have to confirm that. But uh, getting these stickers next year, it's going to be significantly more expensive. Um, it is a new EPA year and there are new regulations and limitations with that. So it is great that these are on there. Even if you don't plan to operate in California in terms of resale value, that's going to be a huge asset to anybody um, that is ever going to operate in California in the future. Taking a look inside the cab again. This is a 78-inch uh, platinum sleeper. Obviously, platinum interior in the day cab. In the cab, uh, we went the Arctic gray interior. Stamped weight from the factory on this truck is. Let's wait for the camera to swing around. 18,606 pounds. So uh, you'll notice that we have the two um, toolboxes on here. So sometimes you'll see. A longer truck with no toolboxes weigh less, or maybe one toolbox weigh a little bit less, um, but 18,606 pounds, that's a great weight for a Class 8 truck of this caliber. Um, definitely not no plastic aerodynamic truck. We went with the uh, National Premium Leather uh, Air Ride Seats. These are what we used to call the, premium, the Peterbilt Premium Seats. Now they are, are branded as national premium seats. Uh, I love the leather on these ones. It's not as soft as the uh, Sears Atlas 80 with the ultra leather, um, but this leather is gonna hold up over time longer. Um, you do get a little bit more um, configuration with your uh, air controls right there. And you do get the swing back armrests with these seats. So some nice features uh, on this seat that you don't get with the Sears Atlas 80. Taking a look inside the cab, of course, we do have our new digital dash. This truck has just under 50 miles on the ticker, so the new owner will be the uh, first person to sneeze in it. Smart wheel with your uh, cruise control, audio, Bluetooth controls, as well as your uh, digital dash controls right there. All gauges in the B panel. We've got 14 gauges in the B panel, and in true Peterbilt form, they punt the front axle temperature gauge right here and the rear axle temperature gauge right there. So if you are picking up one of these trucks, make sure you remind us and uh, that we put these uh, axle temperature gauges, say probably, right, swap these two to where they're side by side or in whatever configuration that you prefer. With your air switches, we do have a PTO switch on there from the factory. So if you do add a PTO, it's already got the switch on there for you. Here's a look at your uh, 18 speed manual transmission we did go with the uh cb radio from the factory so you do get the uh nice housing on there and then there's your spotlight control speaker for the audio system and then there's your external speaker for the uh cb radio right there in the headliner Swinging around, we're gonna take a look at the sleeper. Again, this is, is a, a uh, single bunk sleeper with additional storage cabinets. We spec these trucks without a fridge from the factory, but we have added a fridge to this one. So if you wanna save some money and go without the fridge, we can do that. If you want the fridge added, not a problem. We're happy to do that for you. Love the clean look of the uh, single bunk sleeper with the additional storage cabinets. Did of course do the uh, premium mattress. That's a near must for me on any type of uh, owner operator spec. Lifting up the mattress of course is super easy. Tons of storage space. I love the fact that you can access the storage right here without lifting up the mattress. And then you have tons of storage that is under the mattress. Those pieces right there are the uh, cab legs that we removed to put the light panels on there. Of course, we've got your hazard triangles, tow pins, and fire extinguisher. There's your uh, 
AC system for the rear AC. We did not do the uh, business center. So you have tons of closet space on both sides. We added the same fridge that would come from the factory. These are pre-wired for, pre for a fridge. So we added the uh, same fridge that would come from the factory. There's a look at the cab. Gonna miss that uh, cab next year, but certainly a great opportunity to get this spec while we have it. And of course, that is the best view in trucking. All you gotta do, point that Peterbilt wing on the horizon, keep on trucking. Of course, that view is only improved by that painted drop visor. As you can see, whenever we do a painted drop visor, we do paint not just the outside, but the inside as well as all the mounting brackets on there. Really cool how that kind of glows at night from the uh, marker lights up above. Let's go ahead and take a look underneath the hood. Of course, the uh, Peterbilt 389 has our characteristic stamped oval steel grill, steel grill to uh, protect the radiator. Open up that hood is super easy. I can do that one-handed while I'm filming. And there's a look at our beautiful Cummins X15 Performance Series engine. We've got 565 horsepower and 1850 pound-feet of torque. You've heard me say before that the uh, X15 Performance Series engines get these really cool black diamond plate badges with the uh, brushed aluminum lettering. Really like that contrast. It's very big and bold. There's a look at our upgraded Davco 382 fuel water separator. We've got remote lube points, greasable front springs. Again, a tape relief front suspension. And we've got disc brakes up front. Again, closing that hood, super easy to do one-handed while I'm filming, since we are the only manufacturer that does make a class eight truck with an all aluminum hood. Really happy that on the incoming 589, they are sticking with that all aluminum hood. I think that's a uh, uh, timeless detail that Peterbilt should definitely keep up. Glad they're doing that for the 589. But there's a look at this beautiful white 2024 Peterbilt 389. As I said, uh, this truck is on the ground, ready to roll. Uh, we also have multiple other colors uh, available. I'll go through those colors for you one more time. So again, we've got the white, we've got Viper Red, we have Diamond Red, we have Prowler Purple, Monster Energy Green, a uh, dark blue metallic, and then we've also got um, tantalizing turquoise. I had to think about that for a second. Um, so if you want to put your name on this truck or one of those other colors that we have available, again, if you can move quickly, I think we have maybe a week or two to change paint on uh, some other incoming ones in this same spec. So if you want to paint it a different color, we do have that opportunity. Um, these are some of the last 389s that are going to be coming out of the factory uh, that'll be available. Love to put your name on uh, one or multiple and put a package deal together for you. You can take the trucks as is, or if you want to custom customize them even more, our uh, body and rig up shop, shop is uh, more than capable of handling that. Give me a call. My name is Travis Quadlander. My cell phone is 817-504-7220. Hablo Espanol por llamarme a 817 or come see us at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt. 
right here in Irving, Texas off of Loop 12 and Union Bauer. I want to thank everyone in the uh, trucking and transportation industry for keeping our country running when we need you the most. I know it's some hard times for you, you guys and gals right now. We're going to do the uh, best that we can to uh, support you and show our appreciation for you. Uh, you all really do keep our country running when we need you the most. Look forward to hearing from you. Drive safe, y'all.